So welcome guys. I'm here with uh, Dr. Siddhant Arora and we are here with another talker session. So uh, Dr. Siddhant has secured uh, rank 4 in the common merit list and uh, rank 6 in the AIMS uh, rank list in the recently conducted INSS 22 exams. So congrats Siddhant and uh, welcome to the show. Thank you sir. Thanks a lot. So Siddhant, uh, we are here to conduct talker sessions. So there are two reasons to conduct topper sessions, which I always say. One is, first of all, to, to felicitate you and uh, give our congrats for this prestigious achievement. And the second and more important point is we want to pick your brains. We want to find out how you studied, how you approach this. Because uh, after doing a lot of interviews of toppers for the past uh, nearly two years, we've seen a particular track. So toppers generally follow a particular track. So we want to know if you to have followed that particular track and uh, is this something which your juniors can aspire to so uh, congrats dr siddhan and uh, so how what so siddhan what tell, tell us something about you from where are you from and uh, where do your mbbs which batch are you where did you do mb from which batch are you so tell us about that uh, so i am basically from uh, saharanpur uttar pradesh and i did my mbbs my batch was 2013 from kgmu lucknow and uh, I started my MD from PJ Chandigarh, and my batch was uh, July 2019. So again, it is something which is very, very consistent. So all the toppers are 2013 MBBS and 2019 MD. So I think it again focuses, it again stresses that particular important point where you get your the specialty early, get your DM degree early, because all of the toppers are consistently getting it earlier. It doesn't mean that if you have to repeat, it's bad, but it's always better to work hard and secure it in the first attempt itself. So again, Dr. Siddhan follows that particular track. So Siddhan, so in need tests, you could write the paper and then choose your specialty. So here you yeah. have to choose your specialty and write the paper. So again, why did you choose DM cardio? You had a lot of other subjects. So why did you choose DM cardio? Uh, I feel that I've always had a special connection with cardio and uh, speaking from a logical point of view also, I needed a branch which has a good balance between OP cases and intervention and emergencies. So I found that uh, this was the best subspeciality that, that I could go for, that I could opt. Again, a very particular point, he's used the word subspeciality. So if all of us use the term super speciality, but actually the correct term is subspeciality. Maybe he, him being for PJ Chandigarh, it, it becomes probably synonymous. But again, they remember it is we are all subspecialties of medicine. We are not a super specialty of medicine. So, Siddharth, how did you approach studying? So, when did you start studying for? Uh, when did you start your preparation for your DM exams? How did you approach it, and uh, what was your strategies like? Uh, so, I started my preparation after I had passed my MD exam, which was uh, I had finished my MD course, which was in June. Uh, so I had uh, this strategy that I'll prepare for NEET first. I'll uh, study medicine. And after completing my NEET, I started uh, reading cardio as a speciality, like from Braun Waldor wa watching uh, Marvess's so videos. What time was it? What time did you start? What month was it? So it was, it was uh, around in September, in the first week of September. Okay, so okay, fine. So you had around one and a half months probably, right? One to uh, one and a half yeah. months. Yes, sir. Okay, so how did you approach studying for DM for your exams? So, so uh, I started uh, watching for, uh, for, for cardio or for like uh, medicine? No, for also. cardio, for, for cardio. Because how did yeah, you, you are really concentrating on the INSS part. So, how yes, did sir. you, after finishing your NEET SS, you started to approach for the cardio part. So, how did you start off with what were your resources and what was your strategy? So uh, I had uh, gotten uh, got a marrow SS plan for cardio and I started with the, the cardio SS videos and because I I'd already watched the medicine videos uh, earlier. So I started with the cardio SS videos and after uh, watching the videos once I started uh, uh, reading the notes which were given as a uh, as on in, in a soft form on, on the marrow app and uh, I also used to do MCQs from wherever I could find. Uh, also, I studied the whole of Harrison, uh, the cardio part, and I couldn't actually cover the whole of the brown wall, but uh, I saw what whatever the topics came in previous INISS exams. So I covered those topics from brown wall, especially the tables. And uh, so basically, yeah, those chapters 
more more important important basically important areas you back referred from the questions yeah. and covered important areas in bond work so this you started in september so you were able to cover all of this in one month i i wouldn't say one month sir, because uh, neat ss exam was on uh, september 2nd so i gotten basically two months whole of september and october okay. october yeah. yeah so you got so in two I, months I you were able to cover all of this yeah exactly so uh, so how do you recommend a candidate so you got such a good rank so how do you recommend a candidate to approach his exam so how did you how do you advise a your juniors to prepare for your ss exams i'd like to say that uh, uh, first of all marrow videos are like quite sufficient for at least starting your preparation and videos combined with the notes they provide a very good base and then i recommend uh, to solve as many mcqs as they can because you have the, you develop that sense of uh, cracking an mcq e- even your e- guesses become more educated and the probability of uh, your guesses getting right they become more so exactly. uh videos notes plus as many mcqs so i think this this is very is quite necessary so did you do the maro q bank i did sir i did uh, the the maro q bank which has been introduced recently i also did that and uh, <laughs> i could i could cover so some there were some complex questions as well so it covers basically all bases they were easy as well as tough questions in that and complex questions so uh, some topics or some points were also touched which couldn't be covered in the videos exactly so uh, did you how how did you, did you how was your impression on the question bank mara question bank so was it uh, sufficient was was there any added points to be covered uh, no i suppose uh, maybe if the quantity of questions could be increased i know mara has always had because i used uh, mara in neat pg also so uh, i believe maro believes more in quality rather than quantity but uh, the thing is ki <clears throat> maybe if uh, the number of questions could be increased just a bit and uh, i think that that will be that will do fine because uh, the quality of course the the complexity of the question uh, it's, it covers basically all the bases so uh, just maybe increasing the number yeah. of questions yeah so did you write the grant tests the cardiology papers question papers and all so maro offers a lot of grant yes, tests yes. right uh, yes did you write there was that? i think yes sir i attempted the cardio mock test i think there was one only national mock test of cardio ss and i got second rank in that so i think so fairly an accurate representation <laughs> uh, right i think so 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 when was when did you attempt this cardio test mock test when was it i think it was in the month of october sir so just when you were finishing your preparation right yeah i i remember i had uh, watched the videos once and uh, revised my notes twice the maro notes so revised your notes twice so you prepared your own notes or you depended on maro notes no i just read the pdf notes that were there in the app i think a lot of people generally tend to prepare their own notes but again it is a matter of perspective so maro notes makes it a bit more easier on your end Uh, so uh, after you face so were you able to complete all the videos in that particular maybe one to two months yes i completed all the videos in one month and uh, yeah because i used to watch it with increased speed and you know because i, I used to watch around 8 to 10 videos per day so yeah i was able so to complete it around 6 to 8 hours per day right yeah yes sir. so you were able to binge watch it like a netflix series you were able to watch 6 to 8 hours per day and that oh, was around one yeah honestly speaking i was not very happy with my neat ss performance so i had that motivation that i have to do this crack this ina ss by by hook or by crook so yeah <laughs> yeah it's nice so you were able even many candidates were able to binge watch all of this so 6 to 8 hours per day preparing notes or they were able to finish the entire maro videos in say in 20 days 25 days a lot of people were able to do that so one thing which uh, all these maro videos does is it shortens your preparation time dramatically so in our days we used to take leave for around 6 months don't we used to not uh, go to work we used to sit there for morning and morning to evening open broadmoor and try to understand what it says but it's very very difficult again it's written from a uh, dm point of view not from an md point of view so again the entire preparation is shortened extremely by using this app based preparation program so would you agree with that do you feel that your preparation time is uh, shortened dramatically with uh, maro yes sir, definitely as you said uh, 
it used to take you around 6 to 7 months and i just gave 2 months maybe the thing is i had already read uh, the cardio part of harrison thoroughly before uh, starting with the the preparation from app but yeah if uh, you say that just the that you have to prepare from the app only then definitely it shortens the preparation time to maybe uh, two months or two two to three months two to three months so again as uh, the present neat ss follows your uh, general medicine based and your present inss follows your specialty based subjects is it possible to prepare for both or do you have to focus on one part decide and focus on one particular exam so what would be your approach uh, it maybe depends on your motivation the, the level of intent you have do you really want to go into these uh, central institutes if that's that then there's no option maybe because you anyway exactly. study for medicine in, in iniss so uh, because the need ss paper it, it was very unpredictable and uh, i i was joking this with my friends that i would have attempted that paper better if i had given that when i had preparing for my pg so the question maybe more of that so uh, the, yeah i think probably, if you prepare for yeah. iniss yeah so you no, tend I... to cover your medicine part and that helps in your need also so if your uh, aim is to uh, crack this iniss only then i think you should focus on that iniss okay again again there are a fair number of seats around 22 seats so with respect to the number of people who write it it is a fair percentage of seats and again studying in an institute is a great great privilege and i think one should not miss it once you have an institute brand it really sticks with you for life several doors open up so if suppose you are applying for a fellowship abroad and you are from an institute list or something like pga or from aims automatically you have a higher chance of getting that fellowship so several doors open up so try to st- study in prestigious institutes that's what that would be my advice it is not mandatory but it is obviously it is if you want to uh, if you want to plan for fellowships it is very good in that sense again you can get a lot of studies Uh, or research papers published and that will again help you in your career especially for fellowships abroad okay siddhant uh, how many questions did you attempt in the inss paper so there were 50 questions from cardio and 30 questions from medicine so how many questions did you attempt i attempted 58 oh sorry i'm sorry 78 out of 80 78 again yeah, that's yeah. why i always say attempt at least 95% of questions you can take up all the top interviews i have done they have attempted mo- at least everyone has attempted more than 95% of questions do not just attempt what you know because even if you, you know 50 questions and you attempt only those 50 questions you will at least get 10 wrong there will be some hidden twist in the question which you cannot pick up so attempt all questions try to guess out answers when you are practicing mcqs try to guess answers there obviously is be sorted questions some landmine questions that you can it is impossible to guess but you must attempt to guess answers for almost all questions that's how you improve in an mcq based exam this is not a theory based exam this is an mcq based exam so i think that is very important please attempt all questions so in an 80 question paper attempt at least more than 75 see for cardiology you focus specially on um, the lectures and for the bronwald and harrison part of cardiology but you have 30 questions for medicine now did you specially study for that or you just depend upon your md preparation so it's kind of both uh, because uh, doing md in medicine from an institute like pgi uh, the question the kind of questions that uh, we have in iniss the medicine part they basically uh, clinically approach uh, clinical approaches and practical based so yeah we have a, quite a bit of hang of that so but also i had prepared for uh, neat ss from uh, marrow medicine videos only so i think that helped too so Again, i think studying, both of studying in md and pj chandigarh definitely gave you an edge exactly that is true. so yeah that is true. so you finished your uh, theory part so what about the interview so there was an we, there was an interview session there was a mock interview session actually conducted by me so how was the interview what did they ask you whether it, whether any particular areas which you required to prepare for an interview i uh, i got asked uh, on about five to six topics which were quite varied so basically you mm-hmm. can't actually edit the topics as you discussed in the mock interview exactly. video so that's why i said to had, I, i had a mock interview session of around 20 minutes and i said only two things one just study your thesis and two you cannot prepare prepare for any other questions so relax so again 
all of the candidates which i have interviewed are pretty much said that they ask you random questions there's no point in preparing for it so i think the main aim of preparing for an ins should be concentrating on your mcq paper not for the interview session at least if they follow the same interview pattern that is an online interview so uh, uh, one thing i'd like to say is uh, you know uh, i kind of made a mistake in the interview that uh, whatever questions they ask you should uh, this is the advice that i'd like to give to my juniors that you should always start from the basics like start from patient vitals or start from classifying the patient with uh, whatever the risk stratification i made this mistake of directly jumping into the advanced step of management so that that can happen when you're uh, facing a panel like that yeah, exactly. so that is very so natural four, but yeah, so they asked you four to five questions could you just give, tell us what questions they asked so the juniors uh, can get a gist of what they ask yeah uh, i think they asked me a question on the approach of uh, nstemi they NSTMI. asked me about yeah yeah <laughs> they asked me about uh, opd management of uh, basically an opd based scenario of uh, cyanosis which was congenital heart disease so the difference between tof and acyanotic heart disease with eisenmenger they yeah. asked me the differences between restrictive cardiomyopathy versus constrictive uh, chronic constrictive pericarditis uh, they asked one statistical question also they asked me roc yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah they asked me the evolution of sgt2 inhibitors uh, in the field of cardiology I so think we covered that. I think we have covered that. Now, I usually present a lot of history in my videos. So I yeah. only said it was originally a diabetic drug, and then they wanted to yeah. start, just get approval. So again, so again, I think the gist of it is if you don't prepare much for interview, they ask you random questions, and pretty much all of them are very easy questions which they ask. So prepare for your MCQ exams. So, so Siddhant, where are you planning to take your uh, DM cardiology from? Are you going back to your home institute in PGI or? somewhere else uh, i haven't quite made the final decision but uh, yeah because i i'm actually rank, having rank 6 the names i can't be, i can't actually choose that i can't say for certain i'll get that i'll probably get pgi based on my rank but uh, haven't really made that final decision but yeah i think i'll fill only these two institutes again it's a it's something unique na you want it's whether it's between pga and names you're confused between pga and names it's a luxury which not many people get again sadant uh, thank you for the interview and uh, you know you're you now part of the cardiology fraternity now there are not there are uh, it's not like uh, mbbs there are far less people in the cardiology fraternity and we do meet okay you know, occasionally for conferences all over india and uh, hopefully we get to meet and uh, Hopefully you have a wonderful career and uh, hopefully you stay in touch. So I'll ask Maro team to contact you and uh, we'll stay in touch and hopefully that we can have a, a mutual, mutually fruitful relationship in the future. So thank you, Siddhant, and thank you for your wonderful interview and time. Thank you, thank you sir.